Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV The home of news and politics And we drop news every day And we also react to every videos that comes our way if it is your first time in this channel you are highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by and if you are returning subscribers we appreciate you for your massive support and we say may god richly bless you all for supporting this channel and if you haven't subscribed please kindly smash on the subscribe button put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video i have a video to present to you this very moment and i will be watching that video with you and after watching let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now all right quick one before i drop the video who will be the next if a celebrity known all over the world and an elderly man for that matter could be treated this way who are mine who are you for him to say Yes, this church is not for a uh, uh, iPod or is not for Eastern security. So it, it has been tortured. God, this is really bad. He has he didn't commit any offense. There is no offense to criticize him that this is exactly what he has done. For him to just put on Biafran dress and this is how they treated him. Where? And you are now promoting this. Look for another See, uh, no, 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 I can wear this. My vehicle is parked at the center of Opie. No worry, that one. No, hold on. So, this is uh, 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 rising. This is sun. This is rising sun. Not Biafra, not Eastern Security Network. Do you understand? So, uh, with my education, I know areas to go, areas not to go. It would be better for you to be videoing all this. Your guy is talking. Your guy is talking. Your guy is talking. So let's listen to the facts. They know how to react to the facts. This is the uh, uh, indication of this thing. Rise, move this one. Rise, this one. Me, I believe that. No, no, 30 minutes, okay? I will be right. Gather people. Gather people. Gather people. Gather people. Well, this is a just civil dress. Come this way. I was buying bread. Ten thousand naira bread. Sharing the one. Come this way. Not no campaign. Nothing. Sharing bread. Ten thousand worth of bread. When they came, nobody was doing demonstration or carrying people along. The people who were hungry, I was giving giving them bread. I tell you. I was giving them bread. Then deploy. Is it wrong to give to feed? So what do you have here? Rice and tomato. Will you still complain I did not build road? No, ma'am. Will you still complain I did not build hospitals? No, ma'am. So this is your own share. Go and enjoy. Go and enjoy. Are you not the woman that lost her husband? Yes, ma'am. Your husband died because they say I did not pay his gratuity. Yes, ma'am. Have you buried your husband? Yes, ma'am. When did you bury him? Last year. Last year. Yes. And you have come to receive your own rice and your own tea tomato. Yes, ma'am. Okay, no problem. Go and enjoy. Thank Go and enjoy. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Go and enjoy. Good day, madam. Good day, madam governor. Your people are complaining you have not paid worker salary, you have not paid road, you have not paid, you have not paid hospital, and you are still coming out for the second time. How do you think these people will vote for you again for the second time after promising them? How can you convince them to, for them to vote for you? What strategy do you have? The strategy. The strategy is simple. We are adopting the more you look, the less you see strategy. Well, it's a simple thing. For you to win any political post in Nigeria, you just need to be humble. My co-governors did it. In the person of Owela Nayarocha Sokorocha, the former governor of Imo State. Okorocha was leaking watermelon from street to street, road to road. Rocha Sokorocha almost finished one trailer load of watermelon where he was begging people to vote for him. What of Willie, the current governor of Anambra State. Willie Obiano was jumping from one keke to another, from one Okada to another, walking, hugging, granite sellers, hugging pure water sellers, just for them to vote for him. And Willie is the current governor of Anambra State. So for you to win the people's heart, you have to come to the people's level. You have to be humble. You have to break, adopt the humility methodology, humility mechanism. 
and every Nigerian will vote for you. Secondly, give them money. Nigerians are hungry. Just give them money. Give Nigerians money, and they will vote for you and vote for you over and over again. Secondly, or thirdly, give them rice. Nigerians don't joke with jello rice and fried rice, and rice and stew. That is why every Sunday, almost all the homes in Nigeria cook rice. When the federal government closed border, she Nigerians almost collapsed because of abakaliki rice and foreign rice. Give them rice and you will win election. They said I did not build road for them, that I did not build hospitals, that I did not do nothing for them in the state. But when I assumed office, of course I was supposed to build uh, hospitals, I was supposed to do roads. But what is the need when Nigerians love temporary results instead of the permanent ones? I had to save the money. This is part, the, part of the money I'm supposed to use to construct roads. This is part of the money I'm supposed to use to build hospitals. I decided to save it to buy trailer loads of rice and uh, tomato to share to them during election, and that is what is happening. That is exactly what is currently going. I have to give them money, and I have to give them rice. When I did my first tenor, I gave them 1,000 naira to vote for me, and I was voted in. But after the NSAS protest, it now, it now get to us, we now realize that Nigerians are very much awoke. They might not accept 1,000. So what do we do? We have to re-strategize by giving them 5,000 naira, 15 cups of rice, one tin tomato, one gesha, and one big onions. There is no family in Nigeria today that you will give 15 cups of rice that will not vote for you. No family because Nigerians are hungry. I don't know the ones begging from one giveaway post to another. So that is the strategy. For you to win, just give them rice, give them money, be humble, and you are a governor already. Madam Governor, they are killing people in your state. Why are you not concerned about it? They are killing people in my state. I heard that. Full and they are killing my people. Well, we are not concerned because we don't love the people. We don't love the people that are voting for us. When you love the people that are voting for you, when they kill them, you will be concerned. And I know that many people are not really happy because they will say, why are the Eastern governors not talking? They are killing people. Why Boko Haram have not been proscribed? Why the Fulani men have not? Because we cannot have the situation. Our hands are tied. Secondly, we don't love the people. We can only speak for the people or feel concerned for the people. If we love the people, we only want them to vote for us. We give them money, they vote. That is what we want. If they want to kill all of them, let them kill all of them. What is my business? I only want to get money, more money. As a governor, would Nigeria be better again? Nigeria cannot be better. <coughs> Not rocket science. Nigeria is sitting on a time bomb. Nigeria cannot be better when we have hungry journalists like you. Nigeria journalists are the problem Nigeria is facing. Just like this um, interview that you are asking me this question, once this interview gets to the public domain, it's going to jeopardize my chances of becoming the governor of my state. And the opposition party will use it against me. And I need to collect the clip from you. So because I want you to tell lies, what will I do? Nigerian journalists only understand the language of money. Brown envelope journalists. Just give them money. And that is it. The truth is truncated. Give them money to tell lies. They will tell as many lies as possible. And everything comes to your favor. I have sat down as a governor in my state for more than four years, paying journalists to tell lies. Paying journalists to tell lies. And that is what is benefiting me as a governor. So if you want to succeed as a governor, pay journalists in Nigeria to tell lies. They don't have integrity. They only after their money. They are hungry. What is the way forward? There is no way forward. Nigeria doesn't have any way forward. I have said it can less time. I'm a governor. And I'm speaking from the perspective of a governor. My co-governors know that I'm speaking the language they are speaking. Just that we are cowards. We are scared. We cannot talk. When we tell the people that are holding our political post, we take it away from us. So what do we do? We dance to their tone. We are like their slaves. We are slaves to the other at the top. They are there. They have greater powers. So there is no way forward. I have said it countless times. The reason why I'm even open is because I'm going to collect this clip from this journalist. Yes. Because Nigeria needs to be disintegrated. We already know I know.